Over to the United States now, an embarrassed and ashamed Haley Biden took the witness stand in the federal gun case against her brother-in-law, Hunter Biden, who faces criminal charges over lying on a federal form about his drug use so that he could unlawfully get a gun. Now, Haley Biden, who had been in a brief romantic relationship with Hunter Biden at the time he purchased the firearm, told the jury that she found the gun and ammunition in the console of Hunter Biden's truck in October of 2018. Haley testified that she took and threw away Hunter Biden's gun out of fear of his spiraling addiction. She also told the court that she started smoking crack and cocaine herself after Hunter Biden introduced her to the drug. Hunter Biden, who has pleaded not guilty, says that the Justice Department is bending to political pressure from the Republicans and that he is being unfairly targeted. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden said in an interview with ABC that he would not pardon his son if he's found guilty of criminal federal gun charges. He also affirmed that he would accept the outcome of the trial, whatever that may be. Now, correspondent Susan Tehrani has more on this from New York. Holly Biden detailed a tumultuous relationship and also Hunter Biden's struggles with addiction on Thursday. She said that she began using drugs after Hunter Biden introduced them to her and that sometimes Hunter was in denial about his own addiction. She also testified about how she found that gun in Hunter's car and allegedly dumped it in a dumpster behind a grocery store. Holly is Hunter's brother's widow who had a romantic relationship with Hunter after Bo Biden died. She's a key witness. The government plans to rest its case by tomorrow, which is Friday, after introducing two more witnesses. And then the defense will decide whether or not they want to introduce their own witnesses. The trial will ultimately wrap up by next week. President Biden, in a recent interview, said that should Hunter be found guilty, he will not pardon him. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On, World is One. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.